just finished recording parts of the Beethoven violin sonatas, uh, and it's wonderful to be in this nature, in pretty much no middle of nowhere, surrounded by beautiful mountains and uh, a great scenery, and uh, it's a pleasure to be making such beautiful music in such a beautiful place. Beethoven violin sonatas, they're like pretty much like a Bible for us violinists. It reflects a lot of uh, Beethoven's craftsmanship, of the development of his compositions. Beethoven is, for some, arguably the best composer ever. This is something that no musician can, can dispense with, in my eyes. I love this challenge. It's never easy to work on Beethoven piece, uh, not just the sonatas, even the small small pieces or chamber music or even orchestral pieces, especially spiritually and psychologically, um, to try to un understand and to analyze this music. And I always try to understand this genius, um, Beethoven, which I will probably, um, for the rest of my life, probably won't completely understand. Our first performance with Daishin was 2002 and that's where we performed the Kreutzer Sonata. We were on a small tour in Japan and then we played this in London and we started to perform Beethoven trios with, uh, with cello. The Opus 30s. It's very interesting because uh, the pianist, Mr. Lifshitz, once uh, said about these three pieces that they're like an opera. They're like the three acts of an opera. And, and I, I completely agree with this image of um, the Opus 30s really belonging to each other. And uh, number seven being there because of number six, and number eight is being there because of number seven. And as a whole, it's a, it's a complete journey as well. to have the feeling you completely trust and you rely upon each other and I think this is quite the case here. Mm -hmm. 